right, everybody, I was not expecting to make a video today. I'm getting ready for my presentation, but some major news dropped that deserves to be mentioned in an industry insight. So this is going to be very awkward because we just did a live cast where I talked about wondering when Epic would announce their own game store. There were rumors and all that. Well, it's actually happened. As of today, Epic is announcing they are getting in to the digital store front, and of course that means competing with Valve and Steam. So, the Epic Games Store is going to be set to open up and will allow for a variety of games on it, as you can see right over there. But, the biggie and what's got a lot of people's ears picked up is this. Developers are going to be receiving an 88% take on games sold. Now that is a very big deal as we all know Steam and Valve take 30% by default and a part of the video, a part of the live stream we did was talking about Steam's attempt to try and court more developers by offering a lower royalty rate on 10 million copies sold and then again at 50. And even then, the 50 million mark was only taken down to a 20% split. Which, again, Epic is basically going for the jugular here, right, up, right off the bat. And as a very interesting point, we have this little announcement that if you use uh, the Unreal Engine, they will take the 5% of the royalty rate out of the 12% that Valve would be taking normally. So what that essentially means is instead of you essentially taking 17% for using Unreal on top of being on Epic, you, if you're using the Unreal and you're already giving them 5%, they're only going to be taking an additional 7% out of your units sold. And again, this is a very big deal for being on the Epic Games Store, which I wonder if they're going to have like their own fancy name with it. So again, if you subscribe to your game, or if they buy your game, they'll get your access to your news feed. Uh, let's see, it looks like they're going to be trying to do stuff to court content creators who buy your game. Okay, so they're going to be kind of doing, what is that, like a, uh, I forget the exact name of that. What like YouTube, or I'm sorry, what Amazon and Twitch does. Oh, the affiliate program. That if you buy games that were mentioned on the Steam, they'll have an affiliate link, you'll get tracking and cover revenue which there's a name of it right there isn't that amazing folks and of course any engine is going to be available on the platform and yeah this is a very big deal because again competing with Steam and Valve is going to require a major amount of clout and power in the game industry and Epic right now is certainly feeling that with having Fortnite being the colossal success and even just the goodwill they've earned with their Unreal Engine and trying to court developers and get more people interested in it. So this is a very substantial deal. However, we don't quite know what this means right now. Again, everybody can announce a digital store. I mean, we've seen that with EA. We've seen that with Ubisoft and so on. But whether or not this is going to be a big deal remains to be seen. And like we were talking about, the major question on the line right now is, will Epic be able to convince people to go onto their game store? Because again, the big reason that led to Valve's success over the other studio competitors is that Steam offered a lot to consumers. This is what we've talked about before. Steam is certainly consumer first. And if we want to be cynical, developer maybe third or fourth down the line. If Epic can strike that balance of being just a great uh, tool or a great platform for consumers, and at the same time, give developers a great area to put their games on, especially with letting them keep 88% of the revenue, it could be a game changer. But, like I said though, every time we hear about a new store or somebody trying to get into the, into the storefront game, 
you can't just immediately rush to it. And like I said, it really is going to depend on whether or not the consumer is willing to jump ship to Epic. And that, my friends, is a topic we could spend 30 to 40 minutes on, and I don't have the time to do that right now. But the short of it is, Steam has built so much uh, internal, I guess, loyalty to it, or consumer loyalty, thanks to the number of games on it. Again, I have over a thousand games on Steam. I'm sure a few of you may have around that or more at this point. And switching to a brand new game store may not be the best thing for us, especially since I doubt those games are going to be transferable. And as, a note, as one final point, whenever we have multiple storefronts competing, it's going to be curious to see if we're going to be seeing games that will require the Epic Game Store, even if you buy it on Steam. Or, the other way, if you buy a game on the Epic Game Store, will you have to install Steam on top of it? But, th these are a lot of questions that we don't have answers to right now. But, for any independent developers out there working on an upcoming game, I think you better take a look at this, and we'll see how things shake up into 2019. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching today's Industry Insight. Come back for daily discussions on game design here, and on game wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games. Until next time, take care. If you're looking for another book about game design, be sure to check out my first title, 20 Essential Games to Study, out now. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoy things, be sure to do all the liking and subscribing that the kids are doing these days. Check out our Discord channel link down below where we hang out and chat game design, and come back later tonight for our regular streamings. But that's it, and tune in for more great content here and on Game Wisdom, where we examine the art and science of games.